All right, so let's hop right in. So we are at bandlab.com. You can just click download for the App Store or get it on Google Play. Either one works, and there we are. So this is pretty much the home page. This is where you're going to land when you open up BandLab. You can hit that red plus sign at the bottom, and it's going to take you to a new project. So here we have some options. On the left, we have import a track. So you could bring in an MP3 from your phone. You could uh, record your voice or use it as a microphone to record other types of instruments. You could use MIDI instruments, and we're going to be spending a lot of time here today. And there's loopers. And this is just, again, you know, for basically recording your guitar. There's little tools you can use to plug directly into the phone with a guitar and bass. So I'm going to go to MIDI instruments because this is where, you know, most of the built-in capabilities of BandLab can be found. And here we have some fresh synths, epic synth leads. These are all things that are just recommended right off the top. But I want to grab this top bar, slide it over, and go to drums. Now here I am in drums, and I have lots of options. If I don't even know what any of these might sound like, I just hit that play button and I could sample it. I could get a little taste. So I already have an idea of what I like. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to open up 808 kit. Now this is the first thing that's going to open up. And basically what this is, is every sound that comes with this instrument. So I'm going to just go down the line and play every single one for you. Pretty cool. In most modern music, when we have a drum kit, we have a bass drum, a snare, which could also be a clap sound. You're talking a lot of trap music, things like that. And then you have, most importantly to me, is the hi-hat. Ooh, I see. So these are our main instruments and the rest are just the add-ons. But instead of playing directly with these instruments, what I'm gonna do is get an idea for what sounds I want. And then I'm going to go hit that pencil button in the bottom right corner. What we're looking at here is a grid. Here we have on the left hand side, we have once again all our different drum sounds. And going to the right, we move through time. Now, if you're new to music, you've got to know one thing. In modern music, basically anything after the 20th century, the most important number is the number 4. And you'll see right here, we have the number 1, 1 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. Now what those are, are different beats. Now you might know beats as it's used when people refer to like, you know, oh bro, that's a sick beat. But the kind of beats I'm talking about here are different. A beat in music is defined as a regular repeating pulse that underlies a musical pattern. It's kind of like your heartbeat. Your heartbeat is a steady rhythm. It goes over and over and over again. That is our beat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a kick drum at the beginning of every beat and you're gonna get a sense of what I'm talking about so the beat is there whether I put a kick drum in on, on it or not but I put the kick drum there so you could understand that the beat is consistent and it just keeps on going through time and space now rhythm is defined as the arrangement of sounds in time so like I said the rhythm of the kick drum is one on every beat so just to get a clear sense of what's going on, on beat one, we have a kick drum. On beat two, we have a kick drum. On beat three, we have a kick drum. And beat four, we have a kick drum. Now, I'm going to put a clap sound on beats two and four. So I find beat two. Now I go to beat four. And now I have a clap sound on beats two and four. Here we go. So the rhythm of the clap sound is every other beat, starting on beat two, of course. Now I want to bring it back to that hi-hat sound. And what I'm going to do with a hi-hat sound is I'm going to fill in every single one of these boxes that I can. So notice something. We have four beats that we're looking at here, and each beat is divided into four little boxes within each beat. Feels good, right? So I'm gonna keep my beat like that and I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. So we've learned two words so far. A beat, which is a regular repeating pulse that underlies a musical pattern. A rhythm, which is the arrangement of sounds in time. Or you could also say a musical pattern played in time. But we have one more key word that you need to take away from this lesson and that's tempo. 
tempo is how fast or slow a piece of music is. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change the tempo of this drum beat I just made. I'll hit settings, which is this little gear icon up here. And I see right there with a gigantic blue button, I see tempo. I can press that minus sign to slow it down, press the plus sign to speed it up, or I can just grab the number in the middle and drag it down or up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the music, stop it and adjust the tempo. All right, now that we've got a good tempo, let's go back to our drum beat. I'm gonna hit that audio waveform on the left and we're back. Now the next thing I wanna do is go to what's called my session view. This is gonna let me see all my instruments and what I've recorded or written into them. The way I go to session view from here is I hit this arrow on the top right corner. And you can see right now we only have our drum beat, but if we add more instruments, we'll see them all lined up here. I wanna bring your attention to the very, very top of the frame where we see this red highlighted bar. Now this is what's called our looper. Basically, whatever is within this bar is what's gonna play over and over again when I hit the play button. Just watch. It repeats those first four beats. So that's just the very, very first lesson. We learned about beat, the regular repeating pulse that underlies the musical pattern. We learned about rhythm, the arrangement of sounds and time, and tempo, how fast or slow a piece of music is. Now it's time for you to take these tools and make your first drum beat. But first, let me give you a few tips. In most modern music, we're always gonna have a clap or a snare on beats two and four. As long as that snare or clap is on beats two and four, you're pretty much good to go with all kinds of variations and creative decisions. There's usually a kick drum on beat one, but after that, it's really up to you. As far as the hi-hat goes, consider it one option of all the rest of the instruments at your disposal. All right, have at it and see you in the next video.